At NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, a team assembles components for one of the backpacks that will be tested during the Desert Research and Technology Studies, or RATS, project, upcoming field test in Arizona. The backpacks are equipped with GPS antennas, communication components, and cameras. The Desert Rats Project is a NASA-led team of research partners working together to prepare for human robotic exploration. Its purpose is to assess preliminary exploration operational concepts for surface operation, including rovers, EVA timelines, and ground support. So what are we going to do about the 140 degree fit these two? I know what these are. This is it. the switch up top. All right. That implies our tropos is the main power log. This backpack is designed to serve as a lightweight alternative to a um, full pressurized suit. And the, um, what ha will happen is the suit subjects will get off of the rover, put on the backpacks, and then they will be able to do an hour or two suit run, just like having the suit with all the electronics, but without the weight and the overhead of the, um, of the pressurized suit. Desert Rats is simulating what would be a, um, a lunar traverse. So there's a science team that goes and does, we do scouting trips, we look at imagery, and we plan um, where to go for the best science, where you can have calm, and where the mobility team can send the rover. And then all this goes in an integrated month-long field test. Well, we only had uh, two to three months here for everything, for the design, the building, the, um, getting, the, getting the parts, everything procured, and having it delivered to JSC. I got as many things started right away so that everything would be in in time. Ordering was a huge part, getting the procurements in. Um, and once everything got here, it was just scheduling time of, of myself, Tex, everyone else who worked on it. You know, prototype shop, built the frame, and um, I had some ASRC support for other mechanical things. Uh, so just getting all that lined up to where everything fell into place by our deadline. Environment is a big thing out there. Um, the winds get very high, it gets hot. It's, it's just, it's a harsh environment. We are pretty much out in the middle of, of nowhere. The suit subject can dictate a certain spot. If they see a certain rock, a certain geological point of interest, they can hit a button to start a cool point, record it, and then later, when, um, when they go back to the science team, the science team doesn't have to wade through you know, several hours of footage to find the one little piece that they want. They just have all these cool points loaded and they can go right there and then the audio is there. They don't have to remember what they saw. And it's just a gr very good, concise way of displaying, of conveying information. The main thing we had to design from scratch was just the software that runs the voice over IP computer. That's all custom done in KSC. Well, in the desert, there's, there's nothing. There's no infrastructure, no power, no nothing. So we bring generators, we um, bring a network connection down from a mountain. It's Mount Eldon, it's, it's several, several miles away, I think 
30 miles away. So we bring network, we bring power, we bring, you know, there's phones, there's everything that you would have if you were sitting in your office. And it's more about making the test team as productive. The astronauts will be in the rovers during the test. But the, um, the support team, the mission control, the science team, the entire support team, I think there's over 100 people that are part of this field test to make sure that they can do the, everything they need to do to get their job done in the middle of nowhere. We're working towards what's called a, a CSA, a, a comm service assembly, where there's a standard box that we design, and that can go in any element, the backpacks, the rovers, the, um, the, the HDU, which is now called the PEM. Um, any, any element, we could just put this box in, and they'll be able to get on our communications infrastructure and, and talk.